Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm giving you guys a tutorial on how to replace a laser tube on the OM Tech 60 watt laser engraver. So the cold spell that we had recently uh, pretty much froze everything. Even though I did my best effort to drain the water out of my laser tube, it still ended up freezing, expanding, and cracking. So as you guys can see, it's pretty busted. Uh, so I had to order a new one and today I am replacing it. So it was fairly easy uh, to wire it up. So it's just a red wire and down here a black wire. You can see it's still a little bit of water in there, but um, you might not be able to see, but inside it's pretty, pretty cracked up. So you can see a little bit of the cracking in there. Uh, anyway, so that laser tube is toast. So I started uh, replacing it today. Uh, you need a number three Allen head. Let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit uh, for the brackets to hold the laser tube in. And then a number six metric wrench to go on the back. I will warn you guys that this um, is kind of a pain in the butt to get out. I can only get three of them out. And that far one by the blue hose, I had to wait until I got the laser tube out and I was able to get that out afterwards. As you guys can see, it's fairly simple. You have a water tube that goes into the top of the laser. You have the drain tube down there. You have a red wire that goes into the red wire. And you have a black wire that goes into the black wire. So I have all these extra tubes. I use this to cut all the zip ties that was holding the laser and these little tubes on there. Uh, but pretty much you just need that number three outlet head, uh, something to cut the zip ties, a number six metric for the nut, and that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so this is the unboxing of a brand new 60 watt laser tube from OM Tech off Amazon. So it comes pretty well packaged. nice and protected there's my red, red wire there's my black wire the drain tube and then the tube to connect the blue wire the blue hose back to pretty impressed no damage uh, very well packaged I'm very happy with how they packaged it um, as you can see plenty of foam and yeah, so let's get this thing installed. All right, guys. So as you see, I have the new laser tube installed. It's gonna take a little bit of electrical tape, tape this up. So when I took the factory one off, it had no tape here. It just had that, this little white box on there, just slid over it. Uh, very poorly taped together. The black wire was basically um, just barely twisted on and just a little bit of black tape installed. Uh, really surprised that it wasn't having issues. Uh, but I don't think I need this. So it really won't fit now. But anyway, so I'll just tape this up some more. And then down here, basically the same thing, just a little bit of electrical tape. That's really it. So I twisted it together. I'm going to fold it on itself and then apply a little bit of black tape. Probably could do a twisty cap, um, but came from China like this, so I'm going to leave it as is. So that's pretty much how you get it wired back up. All right, as you guys can see, I've replaced the zip ties. Instead of one single, like I had on there, I did two, uh, just, to, just to make sure I don't get any leaks. And just for my own uh, peace of mind. So I did two on the, the back, two on the front, and we'll see how it works. All right, YouTube. So my lasering tube is now installed. I reattached the brackets, secured down the wires, and I would highly suggest 
And if you're gonna do this, invest in putting some antifreeze in your water. Um, I had to learn the hard way with a $300 mistake by just running pure filtered water through, uh, which I got away with when I was in Arizona, but here in, the de in Georgia, I can't do that. So from here on out, I will be running antifreeze into this uh, laser engraver. And that antifreeze is for uh, RV pool boat, um, smaller stuff. It's not car antifreeze. So thanks for tuning in. Um, like I promised before, more tutorials coming. So until next time, thanks guys.